No easy fix for Vietnam as economy slows on weaker exports, property woes. Signs of weakness are widespread across Vietnam's economy, including sharp drops in exports due to global demand, weakening imports reflecting a contraction in factory output, and a tumble in new bank lending. Hanoi, June 1, Xinhua. Vietnam's weak economic data in the first five months of the year has built up the pressure on policymakers to deliver stimulus measures, including monetary easing. Signs of weakness are widespread across the economy as exports dropped sharply on sagging global demand, weakening imports indicated a contraction in factory output and new bank lending tumbled. Weak exports stall factory activity. For Vietnam, the sharp decline in demand for its goods abroad has removed a key prop for growth, at a time when the export-driven economy has yet to fully recover from the COVID-19 pandemic and one of the Southeast Asian country's top industries, the real estate sector, plunged into turmoil. As consumers and businesses around the world cut back spending in response to central banks' aggressive moves to tame inflation, Vietnam's exports have been hit hard. Exports in May fell at an annual rate of 5.3%, down from the double-digit growth pace of 22.1% that Vietnam posted last August, according to the General Statistics Office GSO. Vietnam's total exports in the January to May period dwindled 11.6% from a year ago to 136.17 billion US dollars, extending the downward trend seen over the past 9 months, statistics data showed. As sluggish global demand has crimped exports, the GSO said Vietnam's exports to the U.S., its largest market, narrowed 19.5% to $37.2 billion in the first five months compared with a year earlier, while sales to the European Union fell 6.5%. The data revealed steep falls in exports of products including furniture, clothing, footwear and smartphones, which all are the biggest foreign currency earners for the country. Vietnam's imports dropped 17.9% in the January to May period from a year earlier, underscoring a continued contraction in manufacturing activity as factories cut their purchases of raw materials and equipment for production. About 94% of Vietnam's imports are spent on raw materials and equipment for production, which slumped 18.2% in the first five months from a year ago, the GSO noted. Manufacturing activity dipped to 46.7 in April from March reading at 47.7, well below the 50.0 threshold that separates growth from contraction, the S&P Global Vietnam Manufacturing Purchasing Managers Index PMI, showed. The biggest problem now is to secure new orders so that we would revive faltering exports, said Tran Nok Vao, chief executive of data provider Y Group. However, the global manufacturing PMI still remains below the neutral 50.0 mark, suggesting global pullbacks in both manufacturing and consumption, he added. He expected Vietnam's exports to fall further in the next one or two quarters. During the COVID-19 pandemic, manufacturing was hit hard by supply chain disruptions, said Phan Le Tong Long, founder of the Vietnam Wealth Advisors. But now, the current loss of momentum in manufacturing is due to the effect of the drop-off in demand. As the global economy slides closer to recession, Vietnam is going to be in the crosshairs, said Nguyen Minh Tuan, co-founder and chief executive at AFA Capital Vietnam. It's hard to see the manufacturing sector not experience some sort of a downturn. Vietnam bucks global trend of monetary tightening. Vietnam, among one of the few countries, has tried to buck the global trend so far this year, deploying monetary and fiscal easing in a bid to support growth. The State Bank of Vietnam has cut its policy interest rates three times so far this year to support businesses get through the tough time and boost domestic demand further. However, more monetary easing would have limited effect as long as domestic and external demand remain weak, said Y Group chief executive. Although most central banks were done or almost done with raising interest rates, there is a lag between changes to monetary policy and its effect on economic activity. It would take Vietnam between three and six months for its easing policy to have effect on manufacturing, he said. Much weaker than expected credit growth underlines the difficulties policymakers are facing stimulating growth. According to the central bank, as of April 20th, 
the credit growth in the banking system was up 2.57% from the end of last year, about a third of the growth of 6.42% in the same period a year ago. The central bank has previously said it was targeting 14-15% to credit growth for this year. Banks have lowered their expectations for loan demand, saying that the total lending is expected to grow 4% in the second quarter and expand by 13.1% for the year, according to a survey by the central bank. For part 1. Thanks you.